I am Ashish Kumar and I am here to tell you something about Wi-Fi module. So I searched in the internet and found a great and fantastic Wi-Fi breakout or you can say development board that is ESP8266 Node MCU version 0.9 as you can see in there. Now this uh, little or you can say this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module can be programmed using your micro 8 type USB cable. Okay. So this micro USB cable is your phone and Android phone charger which can be directly get connected to your ESP. As you can see, I have connected the micro A type USB cable and you can see here a uh, blue light. Now open the Arduino. Now click onto the file, go to the preference and add this URL to your additional board manager URLs ok I will show you this is the URL after refreshing up with this go to board and board manager here you can see that it is downloading the platform index downloading ok again downloading and here you can also see I have already installed the ESP8266 by ESP8266 community and the version installed is 2.3.0 ok you can install other versions also they are available so after installing this onto your board manager you can see additional board managers as you can see up here so my ESP is Node MCU 0.9 so I am just clicking on this now you can see here the additional options and you can see as I have connected the Node MCU here and it has given me here the COM 7 ok now this was the basic thing you have to do to program your ESP8266 Node MCU board. Okay. Now I have written a Wi-Fi program here over here. You can see here I have included a header file. These are the two constant characters that that are SSID and password. These are the two variable which I will be using. Uh, the Wi-Fi server server 18 means that this is the port of the server to which uh, it will be listening. Okay. Now serial dot begin. The baud rate is 115200. This is the pin mode 2 output. This pin mode 2 output here is this. This LED, uh, blue LED you can see here is the pin 2 that I have declared in the programming so afterwards firstly what it will do it will just it will connect to the SSID and password that is your router and after getting connected to your router it will firstly check the Wi-Fi connectivity if Wi-Fi is connected then it, the server will begin ok it will show you the IP address this IP address will be used to communicate with the server. Now this is the section where it will check whether the client is available or is being connected. After the client is connected, it will wait or it will wait till it gets the string from it. As soon as you send the string on, it will on the LED and if you set 
sending the string of then it will off the LED. In the that is the pin mode two, okay. And if you send any other command than this, it will give you an invalid request. Okay. Now I am going to upload this program. Okay. Firstly, I have to enter my SSID and password of my router. So SSID is. So I am going to upload this program and you can see the behavior of the node MCU. So now I am going to upload the program by clicking on the upload button. And you can see the behavior of the node MCU development board here. This tiny blue little light is flashing. Okay. Opening the serial monitor, you can see connecting to Ashish Kumar. This is ID. Great. Now. The server has been started and the IP address assigned to me is 192.168.1.102. So now I will open the socket tester. It's a software uh, that will act as a uh, client. Now I have to put the IP address here that I have got and I have to put the port to 80. That is the port in which the server is currently listening to. As you can see here, a new client has been indicated that is connected. Now, if I send the string of the uh, LED is off ok now we will connect it again and send on you can see the LED is on here if I connect again and send any other string it will display it's an invalid request so this was the basic demonstration of the node MCU how to connect it to a router and communicate with it using a TCP server socket thank you